Welcome everyone to this to the very special meeting of the Downers Grove Grade School District 58 Board of Education Monday April 1st at 7 p.m. at the O'Neill Middle School. Melissa will you please call roll. Member Doshi. Aye. Member Harris. Here. Also here. Member Hughes. Here. Member Miller. Here. Member Samanti is absent. Member Siegel. Here. Member Purcell. Here. Uh, on tonight's agenda is the approval of the superintendent's contract. Is there a motion to approve the 2019 to 2024 superintendent's employment contract as presented? So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, before we're, we vote, we're proud to appoint Dr. Kevin Russell as superintendent of District 58. Dr. Russell joins District 58 as a veteran educator with nearly 20 years experience as a teacher and administrator. Dr. Russell presently serves as the superintendent of Chicago Ridge District 127 and a half, a position he has held with distinction since 2014. He previously held leadership roles in community consolidated school district 181 in Clarendon Hills, including the assistant superintendent of learning, principal of Walker Elementary School, and the assistant principal of Clarendon Hills Middle School. Dr. Russell began his career as a social studies teacher right here at O'Neill Middle School. And we're excited to welcome him back as superintendent. The board would, would also like to thank the community for their input throughout the, this extensive search process. The survey and focus groups clearly showed that this community valued a candidate with experience both as a teacher and a superintendent. And the board took that input seriously when making its decision. Are there any other comments from board members? I do have a statement here from uh, Jill since she couldn't be here today. Uh, she just wanted to say I would like to apologize for not being able to attend tonight's special board meeting. Kevin, it is with great confidence and pride that I stand behind your appointment of superintendent of Downers Grove School District 58. We on the board look forward to working with you, the schools, and the community to continue our drive for excellence. Welcome back to the neighborhood, to you and your family. It is an exciting time for all of us. Okay, any other comments? Okay, uh, with that, Melissa, will you please call roll? Member Joshi. Aye. Member Harris. Aye. Member Hughes. Aye. Member Miller. Aye. Member Siegel. Aye. And Member Purcell. Aye. The motion carried to approve the 2000, 2019 to 2024 superintendent employment contract as presented. Congratulations. Next is the reception of visitors. This is an opportunity for members of the audience to share public comment with the board, subject to reasonable constraints, but is not intended to be a time for members of the public to enter into a dialogue with the board. We ask that each person limit your comments to three minutes. We will invite those who have submitted a card to speak first, no cards. Uh, so anyone wishing to speak can come up and state your name, attendance area, and then provide your public comment. It is. We can hear. I used to be a board member. That's why I bowed to them. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Richard Samanti. I taught in this building for about 35 years. If you look closely on the floor, you may see my blood <laughs> as I was lunchroom supervisor here for I don't know how many years. <laughs> it is with great honor and pleasure that I address the board, the community, and not last. Do I know you? <laughs> Dr. Kevin Russell.
At the beginning of my career, I was always asked to have a student teacher. And I always declined because I felt I had a certain technique, certain success that I did not ever want to share with any other teacher. <laughs> but I relented and gave in. And in 36 years, I had three student teachers. One, my very first one, is sitting in the audience now, waiting to retire next year, who has spent all her time here at O'Neill. The second one, unfortunately, I left stranded because I was assigned her but was asked to go to Herrick to be the assistant principal. So unfortunately, I left her. I was ready to retire, and I got notice that there was a young man from Northern Illinois who wanted to observe my class. So I said, OK. So he came and sat in my class for what, six weeks and then left. All of a sudden, I got a notice that he was going to return as my student teacher. OK. So Kevin came and sat in and watched my class. And we had a good relationship from the observation, so I didn't feel uncomfortable about getting him in front of the class as soon as possible. He met my wife and my oldest daughter, because he had to come over to my house every now and then. And I asked them what they thought of Kevin. And they said, oh, he's good looking. <laughs> I said, what else? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just good looking. <laughs> I never shared that with you, Kevin. <laughs> but as he was student teaching, he also was working with the Park District. He would referee basketball games. In fact, he would referee some of my grandson's basketball games. So I got to see him out of character at the Park District. By the way, Kevin, that grandson, is one of the athletic supervisors at the Park District right now. <laughs> My grandson has a twin. And she got into education. There's a lot of teachers in my family. And Allison is one of them. And so when she was going to school, I kept thinking, where is she going to get a job? By that time, I retired. But before I retired, I went down to the principal's office and I said, uh, do you have anyone to replace me? And he said, well, I have an idea. Now, when you teach for 35 years, you get to do anything you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> and so, in matter of fact, I told the principal, I said, the guy that is student teaching with me, that's the guy you should hire. I want him as my replacement. So, okay, we'll think about it. So, as you heard, Kevin went his separate ways assistant principal, principal, all that kind of stuff, administration. By the way, I left Herrick as assistant principal. I, I couldn't take administration. <laughs> so I went back to my first love, the classroom and my students. I had turned my class over to Kevin early in his student teaching because I felt he was so confident. The kids loved him. They didn't even say hello to me 
afterwards. <laughs> is Mr. Russell here today? Yes, yes, go on in there. <laughs> but after retiring, I got this part-time job of driving a retirement bus. And one of my duties every other Sunday was to drive the people to church. And it just so happened one of my churches was Kevin's church. And every once in a while, he would come out carrying a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we would talk. He would come over to the bus and we would talk. And I told him in no other words, I said, uh, Kevin, you owe me. Allison is teaching, you owe me. He says, okay. By the way, every time I saw Kevin at church, he first was in a car, then it was a minivan, then it was in a 14-passenger stretch van. <laughs> and I used to drive Greyhound. I was waiting for him to come up with a Greyhound bus. Allison, my granddaughter, wound up going to Chicago Ridge while he was a superintendent there. And she was just a fledgling. I think she was just an aide. But the experienced teachers had a great deal of respect for her because she knew the superintendent by his first name. <laughs> Kevin Barb's nephew is going to get married oh, this year. His fiance and he taught at Kankakee Junior High. She taught math. She just left. Where is she teaching? Chicago Ridge. Do you know Dr. Russell? Oh, yes. Yeah, I know Dr. Russell. He's a great guy. One of my students here was a counselor in Hinsdale under Kevin. What was it like working under Kevin Russ? Oh, he was great. You couldn't ask for a better supervisor. In closing, all I can say is, Kevin, we've meshed. We've connected in so many different ways in so many different places. I know your mom and dad <clears throat> are very proud of you. And I consider you and me as a professional dad and professional son. And I am very proud of you. When I went to one of the input sessions, I told the two ladies there, they were I guess they're, they're superintendents, too. I said, uh, you don't need to look any farther. There's one person that I'm suggesting that all you need to do is look at his credentials, and he's the person. His name's Kevin Russell. And I saw, and I shouldn't say this to the board, <laughs> because these were consultants. I saw a glint in the eye of the one interviewer, and she almost shook her head, yes, you're right. <laughs> now my daughter is Jill. You read her letter. I don't know if I'm giving any secrets away, and I don't know whether or not you can hold it over her, but she's in Mexico having a good time with her high school <laughs> friends. <laughs> she will kill me when she comes home, so this is my last public appearance. <laughs> she never, bored, she never told me anything about who was what, where were they, how they interviewed, what was what, what was what. Jill, 
How's Kevin? He's doing fine, Deb. Don't worry. What about the other people? They're doing fine, too. Don't worry. Well, is he going to be hired? I don't know, Deb. We'll wait and see. I went to bed, and in my prayers, I knew he was going to be hired. He's just perfect for the job. I consider him, if you remember years ago, there was a movie about King Henry VIII, A Man for All Seasons. And I consider Kevin a man for all seasons for just the right reasons. You'll do well. You owe me big time. <laughs> Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak or have a public comment? That's, that's, tough, to, that's tough to follow. <laughs> All right. Okay. If not, um, one announcement. Uh, Monday, April 8th at 7 p.m., there's a regular board meeting at Village Hall. Also, immediately following tonight's meeting, we invite everyone to join us for a brief rece reception to welcome Dr. Russell to District 58. Uh, next, is there a motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carried. The meeting is adjourned at 7.20 p.m.